Morning folks, Saturday, 6 degrees, 30 mile an hour gusts, 15 mile an hour steady breeze, surface is damp but acceptable I think. Interesting on the British roads at the moment, there's, um, there's a lot of mud around, there's a huge house building programme going on, and almost everywhere you go now the roads are full of mud, so a line you might have taken, a corner you might have taken at a particular speed, you've got to be, uh, you've got to be quite careful. But what I wanted to talk about today was this, uh, the, whole, um, the whole subject of uh, biking forums. Uh, being a back to the biker, if you sort of followed my story, then you'll realise that for me everything was and, uh, and is to a, still, to a certain extent new. You know, whether it's the gear you, you, you're wearing or the, the new technology that's come in over the last 40 years in my case or the uh, different standards to which people ride these days in terms of roadcraft and advanced motorcycling. You know, so there's uh, so much that's new and really, as a, as a new biker, you, want, you really want all the help you can get. And uh, I guess like many of you, I don't know about you, but uh, I don't have any personal friends who are, um, who are motorcyclists yet. Uh, I'm sure that situation will change as I get more into the sort of community and as I ride a little bit longer. Uh, I've certainly met an awful lot of friendly people, uh, and people I'd be proud to call my friends, uh, both online and, uh, and actually face to face at the, uh, at the IAM, uh, ride outs on the Sunday, and also by the side of the road as well. So, but the point is, is that uh, it's always good isn't it, to have a mate who knows more than you, and I think for that reason one of the, uh, my uh, decisions in terms of my learning was to, uh, to sign up to uh, uh, a forum. And I won't tell you which forum, because uh, I'm going to give you positives and negatives. Uh, and I want to just talk about my experience, really, of that forum and, uh, and how that worked for me. So, as I said, I always do everything with a requirement. I don't make any decision for no reason. And my decision was to accelerate my learning, to check my understanding, to make sure I was riding safely. And just generally, just to, uh, I guess, have more fun and just try and touch base with a few people. So, as I say, I signed up to a, a particular forum uh, and, uh, you know, from the off, really, they were uh, very friendly. I uh, introduced myself in my first uh, post, who I was, what I was about, explained that I'd been off the bike for an awful long time uh, and was really open to receiving uh, help, information, advice, uh, correction and feedback. And uh, very quickly, uh, you, you obviously most of you, are, well all of you will be listening to this I guess on YouTube, uh, I, I started posting videos um, as a means actually of uh, checking my own understanding, uh, soliciting feedback, but also maybe helping one or two people. So the whole aim of the Back to the Bike channel really is to, um, I think, reach out in particular to those bikers who have come back after a long time. Uh, also, in my case, actually, those who, who, who ride the RT, but actually, most of what I'm learning is generic, actually, so just some of it is, uh, is bike-specific. Um, so that was the point, really, and um, I've got to say, I received uh, a fair amount of help. I guess, I don't, I don't know how many of you are a part of a forum for your particular bike. I mean, there are bike-specific forums, there are forums for advanced riders, there are forums for people in Scotland or New York or, or wherever you happen to be so you can actually choose the kind of forum that you want um, you know there are I guess there are there are many different types aren't there so um, so you uh, you, you pay your money and you take your choice although well, obviously these things cost nothing at all um, so I started posting questions about um, about gear uh, well, funny, funny enough, not about, about the two kinds of gear actually about what gear I should be in. I, I know a lot of you commented on the fact that when I was uh, surging up the motorway one day in, in, in third at 70 miles an hour, so that was uh, that was quite funny, wasn't it? Just uh, give, give me all the feedback and that's a thanks for those who pointed that out. But also biking gear as well. Um, and I've had a certain level of experience now with helmet mounted cameras, which I was able to share and maybe help a few people. And I was pleased to do that. Um, but what you find is, this, of course, you get a, a mixed community. So. There are all kinds of people on these forums, um, and just like in any sort of broad cross-section of life, uh, you get the uh, the people who genuinely you would like to meet and spend an hour with and, you know, share a drink with. You get uh, those who have a, a particular level of knowledge in a particular area, 
which is uh, which is also of interest, isn't it? So. But of course, as well as that, then you get what I call the—I uh, think what the uh, the internet these days are calling the uh, the keyboard warriors, the people who um, may or may not possess a level of knowledge, uh, understanding uh, in the particular topic, but uh, unfortunately can use it rather like a weapon, use it like a cudgel, and it's—you uh, know—they seem to have very um, low flash points. And I guess they're the kind of people in life that you probably you probably wouldn't seek out their company actually. But of course, on these forums, you know, you post something up and you don't know whether they're going to come in on one of your questions. And often, by the way, they are right. You know, there's there's no doubt about it because, you know, in uh, in in just about every case, I am the least experienced uh, member of the motorcycle community, uh, probably uh, in the UK at the moment, uh, or certainly amongst them. So I'm quite happy to be uh, to be corrected. And I hope that sort of spirit of uh, of openness and uh, uh, a willingness to learn actually comes through on the uh, on the actual channel itself. But uh, as I say, in a lot of cases, so for example, the kind of things I've been posting on um, have been things like, for example, um, uh, checking the oil on my bike. You know, for you that might be really easy and really obvious. Now on the on the RT, it has like a little sight glass window with uh, two two circles inside it. And I noticed that the um, the oil was maybe a little bit further down than I thought it should have been. So I asked some advice, and I got some really good help on that actually. So I'll be making a film about that shortly. Um, okay, so we'll we'll talk about that. Um, uh, also, I found that uh, when I was posting the videos on the um, things like started to post videos on um, uh, different gear reviews, for example, you know the, you know, the high vis debate as well. That sort of sparked off a little bit of interest about the pros and cons uh, and again most people just took it in the spirit in which it was offered but again you, you tended to get the uh, the keyboard warrior who um, really wanted to be rather officious about it actually uh, and uh, it's you know communications on different levels actually and there's what people say and there's that there's, there's, there's the way they say it the tone and you can uh, you can detect can't you a certain tone from uh, from certain individuals and to be honest it started getting a bit boring then actually so uh, on the basis all I was trying to do was stimulate a debate and uh, all this particular individual wanted to do was actually show uh, just what their level of uh, what their level of knowledge was really. So, um, and then we got into the um, the IAM, and uh, you know, so you know that uh, I've got uh, two rides up already. I wasn't able to ride last Sunday actually because it uh, it snowed where I am. So that was uh, that was the non-starter. So that's why there's just been a slight gap in my uh, posting of videos. Uh, but um, God willing, I'm going out tomorrow. And uh, for my next uh, next instalment. So again, when I put those videos up, again, so so bearing in mind that what I'm doing is I'm I'm being very open, sort of warts and all, about my failings, about my uh, lack of experience. Um, but what I'm trying to focus on. Um, so with these videos, uh, as you can see, they they are they are plainly sort of um, marked with a health warning. They are not there to sort of substitute for uh, a formal um, course of, of advanced training under a, a properly um, uh, authorised and approved instructor so that that's absolutely clear uh, and also the fact that uh, you know I don't get it always right um, but some of the stuff I'm learning you know I know I am actually doing right so uh, but I know I've still got a lot, a lot to learn so anyway these videos go up and um, again uh, most people take it in the spirit and when I say most I mean sort of you know 98% of the people who respond uh, to the uh, to the postings are sort of you know very positive and again pointing things out that I can improve on very happy to accept that you know in, in, in learning, as a professional trainer, um, one of the golden rules is there's no learning without feedback. You must have feedback. You must know what's going well and why, what's not going so well and why, what you're going to do differently as a result of that. Okay, so, so those, all those things are important. But again, what you get is this, um, is this attitude, this tone coming through from one or possibly two individuals who just insist on almost rubbing your nose in it. Uh, and, you know, it becomes really boring, actually. Um, and then it sort of escalates from there when you sort of resist a little bit um, because of course you don't accept everything they say uh, it starts to become personal uh, and again I've uh, not on this particular forum that I'm part of but I'm aware that some forums actually can get quite um, you know they can get quite rough actually so uh, and again these keyboard warriors who probably wouldn't say boo to a goose if you were with them in um, in person just seem to uh, I don't know like to throw their weight around their, their assumed knowledge uh, and it seems there's almost like a pecking order on these forums. It's almost like there's um, 
a bit like your first day at school, you know, and the big guy in the playground. You know, there's, uh, and I don't know whether the number of um, posts, you know, that sort of, uh, you know, someone's got, say, 1,500 posts, it puts them as a, an expert type level or whatever it, whatever it's called on the forum. This seems to give them some kind of a badging that doesn't actually match the level of wisdom, discretion or uh, or understanding necessarily that these people might have. So you need to weigh that carefully. So I guess the reason I'm putting this out today is just to sort of check my check my understanding really um, and see what your you know are you are you part of a a motorcycling forum? What's your experience been? What have you put into it? What did you get out of it? Have you found them generally beneficial? Um, have you found, uh, like me, that actually, you know, 19 times out of 20, the advice that you get is offered in a really good spirit? You know, it's playful, it's fun, it's banter, it's useful. Um, and it can help you out of a corner, actually, uh, and stop you making mistakes. Um, but do you also find, for example, that you get these, um, these keyboard warriors who, um, who sort of uh, somehow, you know, crawl out from underneath the woodwork and uh, maybe start to, um, you know, throw their weight around? Uh, and sometimes can often get personal as well. So, what's your have you had any experience of that? Uh, I'm just so this isn't so much a, a, an R1200 RT BMW specific question. This is more a general question to those of you who are on these forums. What's your experience been? Um, how has that worked for you? What are the pros and cons? What are the strengths and weaknesses? Uh, and, and what would you do? So, um, in that situation. So. Just, as, just to mention as well, as a result of this particular um, unpleasant experience, as I say, most people were fine. Uh, the vast majority of people were fine. Let me further qualify that. But just, I just got, to be honest, fed up and bored with, uh, as I say, one or two armchair warriors just kept coming in, really. So, uh, so for that reason, I, uh, I left the forum. And, and you know, uh, I've actually, since that point, had a real peace about it. Um, and uh, you know, I, I just feel as though it was uh, it was starting to get on my mind a little bit, and I didn't want that. I don't have to have to take that. I've come back to biking after a long time. You know, I can look after myself politically. I have no problems at all in that respect. Professionally, I deal with you know in my subject as you know captains of British industry, so they don't take prisoners, uh, and I don't have to accept that treatment. So, but anyway, just let me know what you think. Just a short video, just to sort of spark off debate, actually. So. Uh, I'd really like to know. So um, this is back to the bike signing off. It's a short one today. But uh, please let me know your thoughts on motorcycling forums. And thanks for watching. And I'll be in touch again soon. Cheers.